is a pet bottle recycling plant in Japan. Used bottles made from polyethylene terephthalate, also known as PET, a common type of plastic resin, are collected and sorted here, where they're ground up and shredded into snow-like flakes. Those plastic flakes will then be melted and formed into pellets, the building blocks for new plastic products. So those are the wasted plastic bottles collected from the mostly the Tokyo metropolitan area. Japan boasts one of the highest recycling rates in the world. 84% of the plastic it collects, the country claims, ends up being recycled. But the kind of recycling that goes on at this plant, turning old plastic into new plastic, takes place for less than a quarter of collected plastic. Much of the rest is burned. If you say the recycling is plastic to plastic or the product to products, the number is really low. Kenji Fuma is the founder and CEO of Neural, a Tokyo-based consulting firm specializing in corporate sustainability. He's focused in part on implementing eco-friendly practices like reducing plastic use in companies across Japan, which he says is lagging behind the West in terms of awareness about the plastic issue. Japan really care about convenience and health about plastics, so we consumed a lot of the plastics. Fuma says that part of the Japanese obsession with plastic comes from a cultural mindset of omotenashi, or customer service, which, in the case of plastic, means that everything is wrapped up and neatly presented. They have to change the mind to reduce omotenashi or to find the alternative way to respect or to embody the omotenashi mindset with the different materials. Last year, Fuma was hired as a contractor to help with Yahoo Japan's sustainability efforts, and the decision was made to replace the plastic cups in the company cafeteria with bamboo ones. Plastic waste was becoming a global issue, and as we are using fairly large amounts of plastic here, we started wondering what we can do. More people are using bamboo cups than I expected. The number of plastics used before was 18,000 per month, but has decreased by 8,000. The vending machines of Tokyo, perched on nearly every block and loaded up with bottles upon bottles in this convenience-obsessed megacity. In the Akihabara district of central Tokyo, this is just a snapshot of the more than 5 million vending machines spread across Japan. And many of them carry the drinks and, of course, plastic bottles produced by Suntory, a beverage company with 120 years of history, and they see themselves as having an eco-conscious plan for the future. Plastics, it's a really convenient for our life, but a convenience has a trade-off. And now is the time to resolve that trade-off for the next generations. At their production facility in Kanagawa Prefecture, a flurry of bottles is churned out every day, but these aren't your typical virgin plastic bottles destined for a single use. They're made from existing used pet bottles through a process that Suntory hatched with the recycling company Kiyoe. We should not produce further virgin pet bottles, which are produced by Petro based. Suntory says it can accomplish this policy through technology like F2P recycling, flake to preform. At a Kiyoe plant outside Tokyo in Ibaraki Prefecture, the standard processes of mechanical recycling are taking place. Bales of used plastic are unloaded, sorted by machine and by hand, cleaned and then pulverized into tiny pieces or flakes. Here's where things get a little different. Rather than melting the flakes and forming them into pellets, the process is streamlined and the flakes are turned directly into what's called preforms. Think of them as baby plastic bottles, your used bottle of soda reincarnated as a new one to be blown up and filled with new beverages. We built the world's first process to produce free forms directly from flakes while compressing production costs and lowering CO2 emissions by 25%. Under these circumstances, we can keep recycling without producing garbage. It's great for a country without oil resources like Japan to have technology like this. 
POA President Aichi Furusawa says the F2P technology was initially met with resistance, but the growing issue of marine litter and China's decision to stop importing plastic waste spelled opportunity for Kyoe. There are about 3 million preforms sent to the market each year. We are considering increasing production in this facility a lot more. For Suntory CEO Takashi Ninami, ensuring that Suntory's pet bottles have second, third, and fourth lives is about more than corporate sustainability. Tackling uh, the plastic waste issue gives us uh, trust from society. That is a kind of uh, a license to operate in the world. So we must resolve this uh, plastic waste issue.